Whether you are a set in stone gamer with hours sunk into video games, or a casual gamer who plays now and again, you will have most likely heard of the topic for today's video. What makes a video game series legendary? Is it the gripping story, unforgettable characters, or the breathtaking visuals? Today, we dive deep into why Uncharted stands out as one of the best video game series of all time. If you're a fan of adventure, shooter, or story-driven games, you've probably come across Uncharted. From the thrilling set pieces to the deep storytelling, Uncharted has set a gold standard in the gaming industry. So, let's explore what makes this series a masterpiece, and why it has left such a lasting impact on gamers around the world. I'm going to break the video down into five main chapters to really dive into the different aspects which lead me to claim that Uncharted is one of the best gaming franchises out there. Let's begin with chapter one, the origins of Uncharted. Our journey begins in 2007, with the release of Uncharted Drake's Fortune. Developed by Naughty Dog, this game introduced us to Nathan Drake, a charismatic treasure hunter with a knack for getting into trouble. The game was a breath of fresh air, combining third-person shooting mechanics with platforming and puzzle solving elements, but it was narrative and character development that truly set it apart. The roots of Nathan Drake's motive for treasure hunting are explored in later titles in the franchise that allow you to play flashbacks from his childhood. However, in the first instalment of the series, the game follows Nathan Drake as he searches for the lost treasure of El Dorado with his journalist Elena Fisher and mentor Victor Sullivan, two characters which are key to Nathan's development as a character over the series. The game explores many themes, from first starting to finishing the game, which include legacy and identity, as Drake is also on a personal discovery journey uncovering his past and heritage, greed and morality, as characters are often faced with choices about how far they are willing to go to obtain wealth and power, friendship and loyalty, as throughout the adventure relationships are tested, and the theme of loyalty comes to the forefront, and finally, a theme of survival and resourcefulness. As players navigate through hostile environments and combat enemies, the game emphasizes the theme of survival. Nathan's resourcefulness in overcoming obstacles and enemies highlights a significant aspect of his character and the player's experience. This is just scraping the surface, and I do not intend to go deeper, as one, the video would become extremely long, and two, I don't want to give away the story and spoil it for anyone who has yet to play the series. These themes I mentioned are perfectly developed across all four main games, and Naughty Dog perfectly constructed the game to put you into Nathan Drake's shoes and make you feel those themes as you are playing through each game, to a point where you have the desire to keep delving deeper into the story of this fantastic character, and it makes you want to keep playing to truly unravel the truth about the different treasures you are searching for, and the key information on Drake's heritage you discover across all games in the series. Before we get on to the second chapter, after, allow me to take a moment to ask if you lovely people could subscribe to the channel and drop a like, as it will help me continue making these videos. Anyways, enough of that, let's get back to why you clicked on this video. Moving on to Chapter 2, Character Development and Storytelling. One of Uncharted's greatest strengths is its storytelling. Each game in the series weaves a compelling narrative, filled with twists and turns that keep players on the edge of their seats. Nathan Drake isn't just a treasure hunter, he's a deeply flawed yet relatable character. His relationships with other characters, like his mentor Sully and journalist Elena, add layers of depth and emotion to the story. These aren't just sidekicks, they're integral parts of Drake's journey. From the very first game, we see Nathan Drake as a complex character, his charm and wit make him likeable, but it's his vulnerabilities and internal struggles that truly resonate with players. Throughout the series, we witness his growth and evolution. In Uncharted 2, Among Thieves for example, we see Drake grappling with his sense of morality and the consequences of his actions. His interactions with Elena and other characters showcase his conflicting emotions and the complexity of his relationships. Elena Fisher, initially introduced as a journalist tagging along for a story, becomes much more than that. Her relationship with Drake evolves from professional to deeply personal, if you know what I mean, which adds a layer of emotional complexity to the narrative. Elena's presence in Drake's life often serves as a moral compass, challenging him to reflect on his choices and their implications. Over in the other corner we have Victor Sullivan, or Sully as most players know him who is more than just a mentor to Drake. Their father-son-like relationship provides a steady anchor for Drake throughout the chaos of his adventures. Sully's wisdom and experience contrast with Drake's impulsiveness, creating a dynamic that is both entertaining and heartwarming. The storytelling in Uncharted goes beyond mere plot points, it's about the emotional journey of the characters. Naughty Dog masterfully uses flashbacks, particularly in Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception and Uncharted 4 A Thief's End, to delve into Drake's past, exploring his motivations and the events that shaped him. These moments not only provide context, but also deepen our understanding understanding of his character, which allows us as the players to truly understand his intentions, and gives his actions a reason rather than just being a treasure hunter for the sake of being.
being one. Moreover, the themes explored in Uncharted are universal and timeless. Themes of legacy, identity, greed, and morality are intricately woven into the narrative. Drake's quest for treasure often mirrors his internal quest for identity and belonging. The moral dilemmas he faces forces players to question what they would do in his shoes, making the experience all the more immersive. This is what makes Uncharted an engaging franchise. You're not simply playing a shallow game with characters who have no real meaning in being there. And yes, I'm looking at you modern Call of Duty games that have celebrities. They very clearly fit in very well. No, no, Uncharted doesn't do any of that. Rather, you are being placed in the shoes of a deeply complex character which you slowly begin to understand better as the series progresses and the characters who are around Drake manage to improve that experience through their extremely well-written roles. So, what am I trying to get to? The Uncharted series excels in character development and storytelling because it focuses on the human aspect of its characters. It's not just about the adventure, it's about the people on that adventure. The focus on deep, relatable characters and intricate storytelling is what sets Uncharted apart and makes it a standout series in the world of gaming. We rarely see this level of depth in characters in video games, however I believe that Uncharted is part of a small handful of games that can achieve this. For perspective, another game that is able to do this would be The Last of Us, which funnily enough is also made by the Naughty Dog Studio, or another example would also be the Lara Croft series. These are two video game series which I intend to make videos about, so make sure you stay tuned by subscribing, and stay on the lookout for those videos. Jumping on over to Chapter 3, Cinematic Gameplay and Visuals. Another aspect where Uncharted excels is its cinematic gameplay. Naughty Dog's attention to detail is unparalleled. The set pieces are nothing short of spectacular, from escaping a sinking ship to surviving a plane crash in the desert. These moments are not just visually stunning, but are also seamlessly integrated into the gameplay, creating an immersive experience that feels like you're playing through a blockbuster movie. The cinematic quality of Uncharted is evident from the very first game. Naughty Dog utilised motion capture technology to bring characters to life, ensuring that their movements and expressions were incredibly lifelike. This commitment to realism enhances the storytelling, making cutscenes feel like scenes from a high budget film rather than just segments in a game. In Uncharted 2, Among Thieves, the level of cinematic experience reached new heights. The game opens with Nathan Drake hanging from a derailed train dangerously perched on the edge of a cliff. This iconic sequence, which I'm sure most of you are familiar with, is not just a visual spectacle. It also serves as an interactive tutorial that immerses players in the game's mechanics while simultaneously setting the stage for the adventure ahead. The fluid transition between cutscenes and gameplay in this sequence blurs the line between player control and narrative, making for an incredibly engaging experience. The third installment, Uncharted 3, Drake deception, continues to push boundaries with its ambitious set pieces. One of the most memorable scenes involves a dramatic escape from a burning chateau. Better known as a big French building, it collapses around Drake in real time, with dynamic lighting and realistic fire effects, adding to the urgency and intensity of the moment. The attention to detail in the environmental design creates a true sense of danger, drawing players deeper into the action. Another memorable scene which I'm sure everybody has already seen is when Drake is by a crashed cargo aircraft in the middle of the desert. This chapter in the game is one of my favourites in all of gaming, and I can remember the entire sequence by memory for how incredible I found it. Uncharted 4, A Thief's End, exemplifies the pinnacle of cinematic gameplay. The game's visuals are stunning, with lifelike character models, intricate environments and breathtaking vistas, with the help of the then new PS4, which does sound strange to say 11 years later. However, at the time it allowed the graphical aspect to excel further thanks to its added processing power over the PS3. And those of you who have played Uncharted 4 will definitely remember all of the scenes and how spectacular they looked. The use of real-time rendering ensures that transition between gameplay and cutscenes are seamless, maintaining the immersion. One standout sequence is the jeep chase scene for a bustling marketplace, which combines high-speed action with complex environmental interactions. This scene showcases the game's advanced physics engine, as objects react realistically to the chaos, further blurring the line between cinema and gameplay. Naughty Dog's meticulous craftsmanship extends to the smallest details. The game's environments are richly detailed, from lush jungles to ancient ruins, each crafted with an eye for authenticity and atmosphere. Dynamic weather systems and changing times of day enhance the realism, making each location feel alive and immersive. Whether it's the way the sunlight filters through the trees or the subtle sound of wildlife in the background, every element is designed to draw players into the world of Uncharted. Moreover, the sound design and musical score play crucial roles in creating a cinematic experience. Composed by Greg Edmondson and later Henry Jackman, the music of Uncharted heightens the emotional impact of the story, and that theme has definitely stuck in people's mind. The orchestral score swells during moments of triumph and quietens during introspective 
of scenes, guiding players' emotions in sync with the narrative. Sound effects from the clinking of spent shells casings to the rustle of leaves underfoot are meticulously designed to enhance the sense of immersion. Concluding this chapter, cinematic gameplay and visuals of Uncharted are a testament to Naughty Dog's dedication to pushing the boundaries of what video games can achieve. By seamlessly integrating stunning visuals, lifelike character animations, and immersive sound design, they have created an experience that is as captivating as any Hollywood blockbuster. The Uncharted series doesn't just tell a story, it invites players to live it, making every moment a thrilling adventure. Be sure to let me know what was your favourite scene or sequence from the Uncharted franchise in the comments below. Making our way over to Chapter 4, we are going to be discussing the innovations and legacy. Uncharted has also been a pioneer in pushing the boundaries of what video games can achieve. With each installment, the series has introduced new gameplay mechanics and innovations that have set new standards for the industry. Uncharted 2, Among Thieves for example, is often hailed as one of the greatest games of all time, thanks to its refined mechanics and jaw-dropping action sequences. This series' influence can be seen in countless other games that have tried to replicate its success. Take Tomb Raider 2013, for example, which rebooted the classic franchise with a more cinematic and narrative-driven approach, clearly drawing cues from the Uncharted series' blend of storytelling and high-octane gameplay. From the outset, Uncharted aimed to blend traditional gameplay with innovative elements. The first game, Uncharted Drake's Fortune, introduced a seamless mix of platforming, puzzle-solving, and third-person shooting. This formula was revolutionary at the time, creating a genre-blending experience that felt both familiar and new. The game's cover-based shooting mechanics were particularly influential, setting a precedent that many future games would follow. Uncharted 2 Among Thieves took these innovations to the next level. One of the game's standout features was its dynamic set pieces which integrated cinematic action directly into gameplay. The train sequence for example is a must class in game design as we discussed before. As Drake fights his way through the train, players experience a continuous uninterrupted flow of action. The terrain shifts, enemies attack from unexpected angles, and the environment constantly changes, keeping players on their toes. This level of interactivity and fluidity was groundbreaking and has since become a benchmark for action-adventure games. The series also innovated with its use of character-driven narratives. In Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception, Naughty Dog delved deeper into Nathan Drake's backstory, utilising flashbacks to explore his childhood and the origin of his partnership with Sully. This storytelling technique added a new layer of depth to the character and provided players with a rich narrative experience. The game's balance of action and story was meticulously crafted, ensuring that neither overshadowed the other. Uncharted 4 A Thief's End pushed the envelope even further with its open-ended level design. Unlike previous entries, which were more linear, Uncharted 4 featured larger, more open environments that encouraged exploration. This design choice gave players the freedom to approach challenges in multiple ways, whether through stealth, direct combat, or environmental manipulation. The addition of a grappling hook introduced new gameplay mechanics, allowing for more vertically and dynamic movement within levels. The innovations didn't stop at gameplay and narrative. Uncharted also set new standards for technical excellence. Uncharted 4 in particular showcased Naughty Dog's prowess with the PS4's hardware. The game's graphics were stunning, featuring highly detailed character models, lifelike animations, and realistic environmental effects. The the implementation of real-time lighting and advanced physics created a visually immersive experience that was unmatched at the time. Uncharted's legacy extends beyond its technical achievements. The series has had a profound impact on the gaming industry, influencing countless developers and shaping the future of narrative-driven games. As discussed before, games like Tomb Raider 2013 and The Last of Us owe much to the groundwork laid by Uncharted. The blend of cinematic storytelling and interactive gameplay pioneered by Uncharted has become a template for many modern action-adventure games. Moreover, the series has contributed to the broader cultural landscape. Nathan Drake has become an iconic character in gaming, comparable to figures like Lara Croft and Master Chief. The games have been critically acclaimed, winning numerous awards including several Game of the Year honours. Uncharted's success has cemented Naughty Dog's reputation as one of the leading developers in the industry, known for their ability to craft compelling narratives and innovative gameplay experiences. The influence of Uncharted is also evident in how it has inspired other media. The series' success has led to adoptions in the form of novels and even a movie starring Tom Holland as Nathan Drake, which well, I can't say lived up to the expectations expectations that the game set for us, but that's a topic for another video. This cross-media presence underscores the series' widespread appeal and its impact on popular culture. Uncharted's innovation and legacy are a testament to its enduring influence on the gaming industry. By continually pushing the boundaries of what is possible in video games, Uncharted has set new standards for narrative-driven gameplay, technical excellence, and character development. Its legacy will continue to inspire and shape the future of gaming for years to come. Now let's move on to the final chapter, the impact on the gaming industry. 
The impact of Uncharted on the gaming industry cannot be overstated. It has set new standards for narrative-driven games and has inspired generations of game developers. As previously mentioned, the series has won numerous awards and has sold millions of copies worldwide. Its success has cemented Naughty Dog's reputation as one of the leading developers in this genre of games within the industry. Uncharted's influence begins with its revolutionary approach to storytelling. Before Uncharted, few games integrated cinematic storytelling so seamlessly into gameplay. By weaving complex narrative with rich character development, the series showed that video games could deliver experiences on par with Hollywood films if not better. This narrative depth has encouraged other developers to prioritise storytelling, leading to a new era of narrative driven games. Titles like The Last of Us, Horizon Zero Dawn and God of War owe much to the narrative techniques perfected in the Uncharted series. The series also set a benchmark for technical excellence. Each Uncharted game pushed the boundaries of what was possible with the hardware of its time. The stunning visuals, lifelike animations and intricate environmental details showcased in Uncharted set a new standard for realism in games. This technical prowess has raised players' expectations, pushing other developers to enhance their graphical fidelity and attention to detail. The meticulous craftsmanship seen in Uncharted has inspired many games to aim for a higher level of polish and immersion. Moreover, Uncharted has had a profound impact on game design. Its blend of platforming, puzzle solving and third person shooting created a unique formula that many games have sought to emulate. The series' dynamic set pieces such as the train sequence in Uncharted 2 Among Thieves and the plane crash in Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception have become iconic examples of integrating cinematic action directly into gameplay. This approach has influenced the design of action-adventure games, encouraging developers to create more interactive and visually impressive set pieces. Uncharted's success has also demonstrated the commercial viability of single-player games in an industry increasingly focused on multiplayer experiences and live service models. The series' strong sales and critical acclaim have proven that there is still a significant market for high quality, narrative driven single player games. This has helped to ensure that single player games continue to receive investments and development resources, preserving a vital part of the gaming landscape that we as the players are primary contributors to. Charted's influence extends to the development of new talent within the industry. Naughty Dog's success with the series has set a high bar for quality and innovation, inspiring a new generation of game developers to push the boundaries of what games can achieve. Many developers who worked on Uncharted have gone on to create their own groundbreaking projects, spreading the series' influence even further. Finishing off this chapter, Uncharted's impact on the gaming industry is profound and has left a mark. By setting new standards for storytelling, technical excellence and game design, it has inspired countless developers and captivated millions of players worldwide. The series' legacy is a testament to the power of innovation, high quality game development and its potential to create lasting cultural landmarks. As we look to the future, Uncharted will undoubtedly continue to influence and inspire, shaping the next generation of video games and beyond. So to conclude the video as a whole, Uncharted is more than just a series of games, it's a landmark achievement in the gaming world. Its compelling storytelling, rich character development and groundbreaking gameplay have earned it a place in the hearts of gamers everywhere. Whether you're a long-time fan or new to the series, there's no denying the lasting legacy of Nathan Drake's adventures. So, now I may have made a few of you viewing few nostalgia, or maybe you are yet to play the series and you're intrigued to try it out, which you will not regret. So, if you want to play all the main games in the series, the best way is to have a PS4 and get the Uncharted Drake's collection and then Uncharted 4. Alternatively, if you're on PC, then unfortunately they never made a port of the first three games, so you could try emulating with RPCS3 for the first three. Then on Steam, you can buy Uncharted Legacy of Thieves collection which includes Uncharted 4 and the latest installment of Uncharted, Uncharted The Lost Legacy. Or if you want to go true nostalgia mode, go dust off your PS3 or get a dirt cheap one from eBay or other places to get used items and buy the original free games for PS3. However, if you decide to play the series, one thing is for certain, you will enjoy it and you will be satisfied with yourself for playing through this amazing experience. So, thank you very much to everybody who's still here and has watched the entire video. I greatly appreciate that and I can assure you that by subscribing you can expect more videos just like this on many of your favourite games. And you should comment down below what game or series I should talk about next, or if there is a specific topic in gaming you would like to see a video about. With that said, I hope that you have an amazing rest of your day.